Oh, so in the last video we got to this stage, we've got our animated character that we can control and the camera's following by the screen. Pretty good start. So we're going to look at, a, um, at one more behaviour. So at the moment I've got these three platforms, and all the same um, object, just cloned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a moving platform. So I'm going to add a new object, and I'm actually going to add this same object again. So add again. I'm going to close that. So it's called platform two. We can rename it. I'm going to rename it here. So I'm going to call it moving platform. Right. And uh, again, we do everything with behaviors. So if I click on move, if I, I'm going to drag this into the scene and do it over here. Uh, so I'm just going to put it on this end here. And if I click on it and go to edit object and behaviors and add behavior, just like I've always done in the past, take off this platform search. Now there's all kinds of behaviors that can just move objects automatically. If we were to scroll down, uh, you'd be able to kind of look through. And I do encourage you to do this, to scroll down and see the things that you can find. So there's this rectangular movement. Avoid the, one that, avoid the ones that say deprecated because they're supposed to be the old ones that you don't use anymore. And there's a new rectangular behavior as well. But I actually recommend that you use the ellipse behavior when you're doing um, um, moving platforms uh, an ellipse is like a squashed circle and it just does a better job of moving things around so uh, what we've got radius of the movement on the x-axis and y-axis you know these for maths so we're just going to go with 100 on the x-axis for now and we do have a um, speeds as well with loop duration of six seconds we'll leave that as the default for a moment see what that looks like and um what we should see is that we said left on X, didn't we? So it'd be moving left and right. So it won't be ideal yet, but we'll modify in a second. So yeah, there we go. We've got a moving platform. We can see that we've got a platform behavior on it as well. But that's fine because we're just going to go in and tweak some of its behaviors. So if we go to edit objects, go back to behaviors. I've already got uh, this ellipse movement. Um, I'm going to add the platform behavior while I remember. So that search platform, and it's this one. Uh, so the ellipse movement, I've got it 100 on the x-axis. I'm going to make it 200, so it's a much bigger movement. I'm going to have to move it across as well. And I'm going to change the loop duration to being three seconds. And I'll apply that, and I'll just move it across because it's going to be moving quite a lot more. It's like 200 pixels rather than 100 pixels. And we should see it moving much faster because the duration of the uh, movement is um, much quicker, only three seconds, not six seconds, and it's moving um, a lot much further away. So now it becomes a bit of gameplay because you actually have to time that jump. Okay, so a nice, simple little thing to do with behaviors as everything else has been so far.